Hey guys, I'm Trent. I am Michael. In this video, we're going to show you how to create custom mob drops with script on your Minehunt server. RIP. So, mobs drop pretty cool items sometimes, but if we take zombies, for instance, they drop rotten flesh, and that's just not very helpful. I don't know about you, but whenever you ever gotten rotten flesh and been excited about it. I, in fact, I build lava disposal rooms just to get rid of things like lava. Yes. Yes, me too. Exactly. Exactly. So we're going to make it so we don't have to do that anymore. So we're going to go on over to our panel and we've already installed the plugin script. Yep. This so we're is, good to go. This is a script tutorial. It's more advanced. If you're unfamiliar, if you haven't seen any of our previous ones, there's a whole playlist. So go check out the basics first. So yeah, we've already installed script. We already have our tutorial.sk. I'm going to go in that. It's empty. So we're going to go on over to Adam, our text editor. That way, if something happens to our server, our script doesn't go away. Write your scripts offline. Write them offline. So what we're going to do is on death, we're going to listen to the death event. Mm -hmm. And then if victim, so the the, the death victim okay. is zombie. We, yeah, so we only want to do it if Colon. it's a zombie. That means we got to go down and And then we're going to, yep, exactly, exactly. Clear the drops. It's it's that like. So that, that just gets rid of. That's going to get rid flesh. of, yeah, the rotten flesh or whatever the zombie would have dropped. And then what we're going to do is set underscore drop. So this is going to create a, variable. Yeah, a local variable just within this little statement here telling us they're called drop. So mm -hmm. set drop to diamond named. And we're just going to call it like custom drop, custom drop. Oh, OK. Is that OK? Yeah. I, yeah. That's that's a, uh, not you're, a very you're yeah. as creative as a coder. Exactly. Yeah. There we go. So yeah, set drop to diamond name, custom drop. Cool. Exactly. Wow. It's a custom drop. Who would have thought? <laughs> and then what we're going to do is we're going to drop the drop. Okay. Yep. Wow. At victim's location. So that's going to drop it where the zombie died. Oh, gotcha. And it's just going to drop whatever this little variable is, which was created right there. So theoretically, you could set it that the drops don't drop at victim's location, but just automatically drop in some other location. You, you could. could have like a like a loot room. Or you could even have it put it in the player's inventory right away. Ooh. But for this one, we're just gonna drop it on the ground. This should be it. We're gonna copy this over, bring it in, do the classic save, head over in game and do a nice little SK reload tutorial. Mm -hmm. There we go. And now I am gonna spawn a zombie. Closer. Boom. And then, ah, Whoa. there he is. Custom drop. Custom drop. That's it. You got it. You got a custom drop. So that's cool. But now the problem is everybody knows that every zombie is worth one diamond, mm -hmm. and I, I feel like that's a little bit of a risky economy. Mm -hmm. So we, what we would want to do here is make it so maybe it drops diamond, maybe it drops iron, maybe it, you know, like we we wanted to have a, a chance to drop a few different things. That way, it's more exciting. Yeah, and if, particularly if you're making, you know, like an RPG server. There's got to be a little element of the grind, and sometimes you get exactly. good drops, sometimes you don't. Everybody's played Diablo, right? No. No. Okay. It's not. So what we're going to do is make it so there's a 50-50 chance to get two different things here. So clear the drops, and then what we're going to do is chance of 50%. It's mm -hmm. that easy. And, and then you have to indent Yeah, this. we're going to. Yeah, so we're going to do that. Cool. And then what we want to do here is hit stop. So this is just going to end it. It's not going to do anything past this. And the reason that we're doing that is because we're going to do another chance of 50%, mm -hmm. chance of 0%. And if we didn't stop, it would have a 50% chance of doing that one, and then also a 50% chance of doing that one separately. Yep. But, we, but we, we want it to do one or the other. Got it. That's why you do the stop. Yep. So, and then what we're going to do is set underscore amount to random integer between one and three. Ooh. So that's just going to set a little variable to uh, like a number between one and three, obviously. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to set the drop to be an amount. So however many. Mm -hmm. Did you uh, forget an underscore? I drop? Ooh, I, I did. I did. I did. See, so I'm useful. Yeah. For all of you out there who think I don't do anything in these tutorials, that was for you. <laughs> It is. So then what we're going to do is set amount of random integer between one and three, set drop to a random integer between one and three of iron ingot. Mm -hmm. So then we're going to get between, yeah, so between one and three iron ingots or a diamond. Nice. We're going to copy this over. Ooh, no, we need to hold up. Sorry. And then drop out of victim's location. Um, and then the, the last part of that is going to be drop, drop, drop. At drop, victim's drop. location. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Yes. And then we don't need to do stop on the second one here because there's nothing for it to stop from. Yep. 
we're gonna copy that over, paste it in, click save in the bottom right. And then we're gonna like quick go in, SK Reload tutorial. I'm gonna kill a couple zombies and we're gonna see what happens. Okay. We did not get anything. Whoa! That is not what we wanted. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, custom drop. Nice. nice. So I see what it's doing. It is giving it, so it is either going to do chance of 50% here or chance of 50% here. So if it doesn't do this one, it still only has a 50% chance here. So there's mm. also a chance that we don't get a drop. Yeah. But I think that's kind of like, you know, that's what it is. Might get, don't get nothing. There it is. We got more diamonds. Let's get some iron. Did we, like, this is not going to that we're gonna give us iron. I feel like this. Are we are we just getting severely unlucky? Oh, oh. there it is. Acquired well, hardware. We were just getting severely unlucky. So you really could just set it to any percentage value too. You can really play with the numbers and change how the drop economy works on your server. Exactly. And that's how you set custom mob drops with script on your Minehunt server. <laughs>